Good morning. It's Saturday morning. We're camping at the A-Liner Rally in uh, Gifford Pinchuk State Park in Pennsylvania. And I thought I'd do a quick video while my son is out on a uh, eight-mile run in the morning and everybody else is just waking up. Um, since I've gotten close to 10,000 subscribers, I've been getting a lot of uh, inquiries from companies to see if I want to show their products on my web on my website and on my YouTube channel and do a review of them and most of them are things I'm not interested in um, Jackery's uh, 12 volt freezers things like that that I don't really have any interest in at the moment and I'm sure as technology is changing that they're they're all going to change in a couple years so I don't usually take them but um, one of the things um, I was camping with my son in uh, West Virginia and they brought a hammock to sleep in if they wanted to but it was just an open hammock and uh, it was buggy so they stayed in their tent but it, shortly after that I don't think the video was out yet but I got a, a solicitation from a company that makes uh, mosquito netting hammocks and so I said I'd look at it and this was way back in June or July so here it is <laughs> October and I'm just getting to it uh, mid-September mid and I'm just getting to it this video will come out in October so it's a little late but um, I wanted to give it a look through I, I have hammock camped in the past and I like it but the dogs don't like it <laughs> and it's hard enough in the trailer to get sleep with the dogs jumping in the bed all the time but when you're in a hammock, uh, the dogs jump up on the hammock and swing it around and knock you out and pull it down and scratch it up and they have to sleep on the ground underneath it so it's not really a good mix for the hammock. But my son and his girlfriend uh, might be interested so I said we'd, we'd look at it. This is the Kotec hammock and it comes complete with uh, tree straps and instructions on how to put them on the trees we're gonna we're gonna try this out and see how it works here's the specs if the camera will focus on this it's got a 500 pound maximum weight bearing for the hammock so that's pretty good it's got 11 foot of rope it's got um, straps to go around a tree that are 10 foot so that'll go around any normal size tree and it's made out of parachute cord nylon or parachute nylon so let's unpack it see how it works so this is the full package and i guess this is everything i'm not sure what the price of this is i'll try to put it on the screen below um, from the kotec website but inside this little bag are the tree straps two sets of tree, tree straps some cord and the actual hammock itself so we got tree here tree over here let's see if we can string it up between these trees We have a lot of strap here, so we're going to go around twice. I think we can go around twice. We can just go around twice. We put it through the loop, pull it tight, and that will hold it. Now we need the hammock. And we need the end of the hammock. The end of the hammock has uh, carabiner hooks on it so we hook that on there and then we go to the other tree and you do the same to this tree and you got on these loops these straps have all these holes in them so that you can hook them to any of these spots all right so we get our hammock 
So we get our hammock and we have a lot of thing here. We don't have to use the end one. We grab one way up and we can hook it up there. And that makes it so we can adjust the, the length and I can take some up on the other end too. So let's try that. So I go down to this end. I put it on the end one, so let's move it up one if we can. Make it a little tighter. And now the bag the hammock was in stays on the hammock. And now the hammock is ready to go. We can, the, there's a zippers on the mosquito netting, so we unscrew this. And we're in the hammock. And you can always use a hammock as a chair. Get. You can't get in the hammock. Get. Or, of course, I guess we can't have a hat. We can sleep in it and keep the mosquitoes away. That's pretty nice. Like it. Ugh. Now you do have the the bag on the outside that you can store stuff in. There's another bag on the inside. that you can put your cell phone in. They give you this, this oversized bungee cord. And I think this is to hold the fly up. The, uh... And so you take those two bungee cords and there's things on either end to uh, bring up the fly. And then you've got the fly. Not in your face. Now it's even better. Now it's really nice. No bugs, no what? And I got room in here. So as you can see, you got the the mosquito netting high up. There's uh, two things here. You could pull these out to another tree. Um, you could uh, make it a bigger box if you wanted to. The, the hammock has a 500 pound limit. Now, the only thing I can see that I would question is maybe the zippers are a little lightweight, but it's a very lightweight hammock for uh, backpacking or, or camping. This is this is a pretty impressive thing. The uh, come on in closer. The mesh 
is absolutely the finest mesh I've seen in a lot of tents or hammocks. And you got the zippers are a little on the loose on the light side, but they work. And if you're careful with them, they probably require a little bit of uh, uh, lubrication occasionally. It is very lightweight nylon uh, parachute cord or parachute fabric, but I'm impressed. It's pretty nice um, playing with it here for the last hour and a half. The only thing that I've broken on it is that they've got this one little tie on these on these bungee cords that's just a granny knot and uh, so it came untied and I retied it. You probably should be a bowling or something. Um, I just put a square knot in it but you know and these are a little cheap but again it's lightweight and it's and it's uh, not a billion dollars so this is a pretty nice comes with comes with instructions uh, it comes from with warnings don't don't do these things all the stitching on the different parts is triple stitching that's three stitches through so that's pretty neat and for taking the hammock down I just uh, took the fly straps off um, rolled them up Tim and they're they're still connected I just wadded them up tied them up I'm putting them in the middle with the with the fly. I don't think they'll hurt it. Unclip one end. Put it in the bag. And then continue to put it in the bag. It all goes in the bag. It never touches the ground. You never have to fold it or anything. You just stuff it in this bag. Pretty neat little bag. It's part of the hammock. There's the hammock, all stuffed in there. I think I can put the straps on the top like they came. Let's see. Rolled it up. I'm gonna put a rubber band around it the way it came. All right, we got the two things. It's going in the little bag. Everything fits in there. Easy way to clean up camp. Easy way to pack up. Thank you, Kotec, for showing me this uh, hammock. less than I do and I've been swinging in it for a while. <laughs> it's not Hennessy though. No, it's not a Hennessy. Wrong way. I can sleep like this. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's pretty comfortable. And I mean, you, you, those are, that's no CM netting. But it does say in, in the warnings, do not set up over any dangerous rocks or <laughs> <laughs> there's always the chance. <laughs> but look at this, got it. Yeah, see, getting out of it is the hard part. You got to swing and kind of like jump out of it. Yeah.